Okay, we are just getting ready to wrap things up here. I'm going to wrap things up with a little bit of talk about centers. So, the center position um, up here in Seattle right now, I'll just go through it real quick. We got, right now, the starting position is pretty much already given to Chris Spencer, third-year player out of Ole Miss. Snap the ball to Eli Manning in college. Uh, I always thought that was kind of interesting, but first round pick in 2005 was kind of an eh pick because we were just coming off a very disappointing season and you know at that point I was hoping for some firepower or a really exciting player and then we got the center you know it was kinda of like whatever but um, looking back on it now I can see why we did it and it's perfect timing because Robbie Tobeck just retired funny guy but he was getting old and you saw it last year <clears throat> and now it is Chris Spencer's time to shine. Last year, we tried him at guard. Did not work. Let's never try that again. Put him in center after Tobek got hurt. I think he went on IR, but he was injured for quite a, some time regardless. And <clears throat> I have to say I was happy with how he did. He really cut down on the penalties and the um, missed assignments. So he's going to be our center of the future. And if we can find one more quality guard, just, you know through the draft or free agency or whatever, our entire offensive line is looking to be beastly for quite a while. Jones, Locklear, Sims, some guard, and Spencer. Um, okay, behind Spencer right now, you know, I'm going to be honest, I don't, I don't even know. I mean, I know we have to have a second center, but I couldn't tell you who it is right now. Probably, like, you know, one of the guards is going to move over and try and snap the ball like Womack. We know how versatile he is, but we need Spencer to stay healthy. Uh, what else? What else am I gonna say? We need a center. But <coughs> oh man. Okay, that's about all I can say about our center spot right now because he's the only player I really know who's there right, right now. <laughs> well, I guess I'd grade this position a B plus because we need some depth after Tobek retired don't know where we're going to dig that up, but, um, but Spencer's a good young player, and I'm excited to see how he grows in this league. Um, okay, center position. The center plays much like any other offensive lineman, except he doesn't have a set assignment on every play, unless you're play, playing a 3-4 defense. I mean, usually he'll double a really good defensive tackle, or, um, issue assignments out so as that he can take on a tackle and someone else can go get a blitzing linebacker or he gets a blitzing linebacker or something but usually the center is the odd guy out when you've got five offensive linemen versus four defensive linemen and um... but the center position is by no means easy it might be the hardest on the line after left tackle it might even be harder than left tackle I don't know, I don't play football. <laughs> but, I mean, you've got to snap the ball between your legs to the quarterback. You've got to do that accurately, which is somewhat of a challenge in itself. And then you've got to snap your head up and get into position to block whoever it is you need to block. And this puts you at a disadvantage from the other offensive linemen, so it's not easy. And you're also the captain of the offensive line. For instance, Jeff Saturday in Indianapolis. Peyton Manning runs the offense. Jeff Saturday runs the offensive line. Um, Dan Coppin in New England. Robbie Tobeck did this for us. You know, usually centers are considered the lead men, the um, leading cast member of the offensive line. Uh, Andre Garode, I would also say, in Dallas. You know. Um, so center can be a tricky position because you don't have your set assignment. You're expected to lay out the assignments for everyone else. And, um, it's just quite a bit of responsibility. Um, okay, that's about all I gotta say about centers. So, best center in the league right now, Jeff Saturday in Indianapolis. He's great at snapping his head up and, um, you know, blocking after he gets the ball snapped, takes care of his assignments, gives up very few sacks. I saw some numbers a while ago that were very impressive, but I don't have them on me. 
and he's great in the run blocking game. He's run blocked for a guy who has a chance at the Hall of Fame in Edger and James. Not making any promises. I don't think he should go in, but he has a chance. And now Joseph Adai. Uh, let's see. Overrated center. Um, you know, I mean, I guess I heard that Charles Bentley is going to try and make his comeback. Uh, crazy man. <coughs> But, you know, he got that big contract, and now he's gone through that serious injury. I know it might sound a little cold-hearted, but i got to call him, you know, overrated and overpaid. I don't think he'll ever be able to play at a very high level again, and he really should work on getting healthy and, you know, not worry about playing football this year. It's not going to... It, it won't end well. Um, underrated center, Nick Mangold in New York, Jet in Jet Green. Everyone was talking about Debricka Shaw, the fourth overall pick in 2006, but the best offensive lineman on the Jets last year was Nick Mangold. I think he gave up maybe half a sack. I don't think he... You know, he was just a monster out there. He and Pete Kendall were the only Jets that could really run block last year, a testament to their poor running game. But Mangold is going to grow into a Pro Bowl type player, I think. Um, I don't want to make any early Hall of Fame promises, but he's a monster out there, and he's only going to get better. Uh, breakout center of the 2007 season? Well, I think Mangold, Mangold is going to make a Pro Bowl, so if that counts as breaking out, put me down for that. So I guess I'll go with Mangold for now, because I can't think of any other centers that I think are going to break out into the big scene. <coughs> okay, uh, that's it for centers, and... That's it for offense. I'm going to do kickers and punters and then kick kick slash punt returners. And, well, that's about all I can do unless I'm going to go into the head coaching stuff. And I don't know if I don't know if I can do something like that, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. I'm out.